I know people of God him don't skin teeth. God want to help us to get ourselves right. Let me tell you something, people. I might not speak and said L R R L R Evan, but I'm talking about while we are living, let's get it right so that others can see the light shine bright in our life. And for us not to be a puppy show in the midst of crowd. Where people laughing after, oh, she just pray and I don't even feel her prayer. Come on, people. How many of you experience that? People pray and you can't feel nothing. You yourself might dear pray and you don't and you don't feel nothing because what? Emptiness. Come on, people. Empty barrel, making the most nice. Come on, people. Don't let nobody of you, my God Almighty, doing no trick and trade and matches boxing business. Oh, I'm child. My bills are, you know, my bills are too much. I can't able to deal with my bills because the cable bill is too high. The light bill is high. This, oh, you don't hear about Brother Toto. Who is Brother Toto? Child, he work with the light company and he work with the cable company and he work with this company and he work with that company. He can hook up your things, child. You don't pay no bills. Uh-oh. So where's your fate? Let me say this to you all, people of God. 2011. Can you all show 2011? I was here. And I happen, my God Almighty, to have this sister named Sister Princess. May God bless her wherever she is because God used her to help me, to help this warrior. I speak it. You all, and I ask Sister Ivan who, who, who really I am. Them getting to know me that I don't skin teeth. I'm, I want to be real for God. I want it to be real. How people are telling all, I want to go into the cemetery and call up a dead person and let that person come out and the whole world see it. I want to be, not about me being seen and heard and whatever you, but for my God to be glorified because if people see this, they will serve him. The whole need to understand what I'm talking about. I get to the stage, people of God, I don't, I, I, I don't want nothing to have me can't live the way I supposed to live for God. Nothing. I prefer to do without. That's why God have my punishment to be so long. You all don't get it. Yeah. God have me to, to suffer long. Suffer long. Because what? When you, when you want to do great things, it's greater suffering. Come on, talk to me. Yeah. 2011, I was here. And I was doing the line. Those days, my God Almighty was strictly prior. That's why people believe it's prior line. And people of God, while I was there, this lady come along named Sister Princess. Some, some of the older ones them know her. She used to come on the line, stand alongside me, like our dear Sister Gay. And while I was there, my God Almighty, I was there after we get off the line and everything, so I sit down and I cook, I make sure I cook because you know they came here and I cook up a storm and when I cook, decide that I'm going to have containers to share and give them and we're going to eat and then they're going to take away. I, didn't, I couldn't eat because I was doing fasting. So I didn't ready to break my fast as yet. So what happened, my God Almighty, is that while I was there sitting down talking with them and you know I was telling them about the Christian African movie, how powerful they can be, and da 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 da, name it and what have you. And so they said to me, um, I said, you can buy the CD or you can understand that. So they said to me, but you can get it on the internet too, you know. And da -da. You know, we were there talking all kind of things. And out of the blue, this is me, like Mrs. P. Fowl. Oh, child. I used to be over by Decatur, and when I was over by Decatur, there were these people that I know, and they hooked up the, the internet, and you know, just like how you have the three in one, the phone, the telephone, and so I said they pay one money in the house, and everybody were watching free stuff. We wasn't paying no bill and so forth. 
and this man that I hear about um, somebody is going to talk to him about me and then he's going to come along and he's going to help me get things together so I was there so happy all of a sudden my dear sweet princess oh but sister but sister Sharon if you're a woman of God you cannot do that I said eh? I, I, listen to me I said eh? she said yes as a woman of God you cannot do that you won't see the blessing of God because if you do that that is stealing and God is won't be pleased with it you see when that woman said that people of God the spirit of conviction hit me so hard and when it hit me my God Almighty I look at her and I hug her I said thank you th listen to me I just start out you know inside my house even empty I didn't have much in there and it is she it is that same woman that God used to tell me about a friend of her that is moving and says she's going to sell her furniture them I said wonder how much she's going to sell her furniture for because I don't have much money maybe I, might, I probably did have probably about a $500 talk somewhere so I was there talking to her and she said okay I said well talk to your friend and, and hear what she have to say and, and what have you and I thank her very much for everything and she called me people of God the following day and said she was talking to the woman and tell the woman about me that, that the woman is a, is a prophetess and she said she tell the woman about me and tell the woman that I'm a prophet as well and the woman said let me pray since she, because she tell her that I'm a prophet you know the woman said let me pray and the woman went to pray the woman called her and tell her I said before she said father in the name of Jesus she hear the voice of God said give her everything don't Hallelujah. sell her nothing give her everything and right away she called the young miss and tell the young miss that the only thing she cannot do is to get a transport God already have a transport waiting of a friend in my life that go to the same church that I was visiting that the um, gentleman I could ask him and he go with us and collect settee bed things for kitchen name it that's how I get furnitures I want to be hard hear what I'm saying my daughter get her bedroom set I didn't get anything in my room because I make my bed I make up a bed people I've got a bill of bed for myself I get things for the kitchen I get things for the living room and for my daughter bedroom and right there my God Almighty I said thank you Jesus and that young miss open up my eyes not to do because right away God show me that he's the more than enough God one of you all hear what I'm saying and every month I used to have the cable on and every month that little cable bill would pay until you know it was difficult we just cut it a year is now I don't have them thing in the house because I don't even have time for that I want to be all hear what I'm saying and people of God all I'm trying to say whoever is hearing under the sound of my voice that is doing these things you better cut it because you're blocking your blessing with God Amen. You're yes. blocking your blessing with God. Don't let none of these shortcoming electrical, electrical, whatever they call themselves, electrical, whatever they call themselves, people of God, come and tell you, if you give them a money, they can hook up and they can cook up and they can whatever. Don't do it. It is blocking you and God. And let me tell you something. It's black you from having that faith that you are to have in God. You can't tell me that you have faith and stealing. Come on, talk to me. I was people of God, knowing the person that I am, the person that I start out with. God using me to open blind eyes, name it, all these things. And this spirit, my God, jumped into me and I thought it was okay. Ready to do it. But thank God for Sister Princess. When she speak to me and tell me it is not right, I'm not supposed to do it. And then the guy, you know what? Because I live all the way over here, the guy was telling me to see if I can get some people. May I my, tell my daughter about it? My daughter telling some guys across the road. And then the guys tell this one. So we, we they right there we were getting about some six to seven eight people and when he hear that more money for him to just come and bam 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 and people of God when I step out he was upset 
But it better him upset with me more than God. Come on, talk to me. And I decided not to do it, people of God. Let me say this to all to you. If you do those things, you cannot climb in God. You cannot look at your situation and want to pray and things happen. You cannot. No power. No power illusion. Come on, people. No power. Scamming. Those things are scamming anywhere you take it. You're not better than the scammer them and uh, 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 um, that is all over the world. When they do those things. That's stealing. God will pay your bills. All you have to do is trust God. You, can't, you might not be able to go in the store and steal a shoes. But you save and buy it. Why can't you save and pay your bills? Come on, talk to me. And so my God Almighty, some of you, my God Almighty, will have some little sticky fingers. You go into the store and want to steal things. I'm not talking to anybody. I'm not pointing finger on nobody. I'm telling you, people of God, I'm not pointing finger on nobody. I'm telling you, all these things black between you and God. You will just be empty, empty, empty and can't able to rise. You will know how to speak the tongues, but there is no power. Yes, All of you all hear what I'm saying? The Spirit of God the Spirit of God will not come in the midst for you to have the power to speak over anything and have the liberty to bring down the plan of the enemy. It will not happen, people of God. It will not. I'm telling you the truth from now. It will not happen. And I'm getting in my spirit where my God Almighty, somebody has been divorced. And this person has been divorced, my God Almighty. But the husband see the person and still like the person. And they are doing some sex on the side. It's not right. It is not right. You will not be able to climb in the Lord Jesus Christ. You are committing fornication. Because you break the marriage. Yes. Whoever doing it. You are committing sin. There is no power. The Spirit of God cannot mix and mingle with anything dirty. I want to hear what I'm saying, people. Righteousness and holiness count. Let us get it together and shame that old dragon, Satan. Yes, God. Let us shame him. Let us shame him, people. Some of you will say, oh, it's my baby father. Oh, I have a child for him. Nothing is wrong if I get a little sex every now and then. Oh, God Almighty, you don't know. You're very unclean right there. My God, send him, Lord. You're very unclean right there. Baby father or no baby father. If you do that, my God Almighty, you're committing a big crime right there. You need to understand. You're committing a big crime right there. Your body is the temple of the Lord Jesus Christ. And you're to use it as a temple. As the holy temple of God. Hallelujah. That's what it's supposed to be. Don't let the devil cause you to sin. And do these things. People of God, anything can happen. It's not just the coming of the Lord that can be in the midst. But any one of us can drop down and die. Where you think we're going to hell? Yeah. Sin is sin. If you write it small. And have to go up to the wall. And look at it. And spell it. S-I-N. And you see it. It's, it said sin. If you write it big enough to back away. Because you have to see it clear. It is still sin. Let us my God almighty. Do the things that is pleasing in the sight of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is time for people to come on this empowerment line and can able to shout and when you shout, you shout, knock the devil out. Yes. Amen. Yes. Come on people. Some of you, my God and my, listen to me, let me tell you all something what you all don't get and understand. You all don't even understand how radical I am for God. Some of you, when you're there speaking in tongues, your tongues are so empty. You need to get power. And how can you get power? Get it right with the Lord Jesus Christ. Get what I'm saying? 
We are only making a puppy show at the Holy Ghost when you're doing that. When you, it's best, it's, it's best you try to, to talk Chinese, ching chang 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 chong chong ching ya chang cha 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 cha. It's best you try to do that than to say you're speaking in tongues and when you you start to speak he ko raba shanda raba kando robo. I can't even start speaking tongues and without the power come upon me. As soon as I start to speak it, the power come up. Because I'm trying to make it real. But some of you, my God Almighty, out there, when you're speaking it, you don't feel nothing. You're just flowing on illusion. Power, not the power of God. Let us get it together, people of God. This is the month of grace. Today is the 27. And two is the double balance, which is the grace, my God Almighty. And the five, the fifth month, the um, this month here, the fifth. The five is grace. Two is double, spiritually and physically. Seven is completion. Let us complete sin. Let us complete blockage. Let us complete whatever is stopping us from right rising up to God. Amen. You all hear what I'm saying, people of God. Stop going Amen. to stop going to trick and trade. Some of you are too much a lover of money. You will do any little thing to get money. Let's get out of that. In here, Lord. Let us stop being a lover of money. It will take you to hell. The Bible yeah. said those that love money commit evil. The lover of money becomes evil. Mm. It will make it it will cause you to see a boyfriend and because you know him and people know that you know him and you have a child for him or whatever, you want to sleep with him, give him some pum pum or you want to get some pum pum and right there, my God Almighty, you end up sin because you want to get some money. People of God that won't work in the yeah. kingdom of God. It won't work. You want to see the power of God move? It takes righteousness and holiness. Some of you are on the phone and not um, in the night talking to some man, talking to some woman, and making your spirit man go down as nothing. Stop it. Stop talking about, oh, it's just a phone thing. People have sex on the phone. You do it in you, 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 what, it, whichever way you act out your sin. I don't hear what I'm saying. I don't hear what I'm saying. Come on, people. Those that you are doing, those that you are doing these things with, they want to come in. They're saying, I'm not serving God when, when I'm talking to a woman that is playing church. When I'm talking to a man that is playing church. Come on, people. Let's get it together. Let us get it right. Let us get it right in the sight of the Lord Jesus Christ. So many things are there for you to prophesy to. Things that lay dormant, you can speak over it and it come alive. Amen. But your spirit man have to be clean. Your spirit man have to be clean. I'm not going to preach no message and let it sound nice. I'm not looking money. I'm telling you all, I need money but I'm not looking money people. I'm not trying to be, to play no trick and trade and no matches box in business and tell people prophesy over your life. It can happen. It is good. No, I have to tell you the right way how to do it. And what will cause it from not happen? What can cause it not to happen, people? Let us get it right. Let us get it right in the sight of the Lord Jesus Christ before it's too late. Because too late shall be our cry. Some of you, my God Almighty, going into store and my God Almighty taking up things and eating it and then not paying for it. That's sin. That's stealing. Stop it. Amen. Those Amen. things block you from God. The other day in the store I see a slice of bread on the ground. I say, my God Almighty, somebody 
open the bread and eat it and maybe it don't taste good they drop it on the ground that's not nice and right there could be somebody that is singing on the choir come on people let us be let us do the right thing in the sight of god there is nothing that god cannot do for you and i there is nothing that god won't give us if we be if we be right before him sometimes it might not come when we think it's supposed to come but he's a right and time god can you all understand that he is a right on time God all he wants for us to do is to do the right thing he wants for us to do the right thing people let us my God Almighty stop doing things to block him block the Holy Spirit I want to be hear what I'm saying let us do right right by his, by by his side right in the sight of our children family you know some of us are blockage to our family that's why they don't want to serve god they see the way we are living they see it i have family members will not come around me because i'm too radical some people have family members they they come around them because they like the way they are moving they are moving the way they like to see them move i'm not going to live to please nobody i'm about i'm about my father's business can you be about your father's business people of god <laughs> whoever don't want to join your company later for them pray for them they will come later don't try to do things to please and to my god almighty let nobody happy your happiness come first and with the time to be happy is now the way to be happy is to make other happy and to have an, a, a better heaven down here come on talk to me have a heaven down here first before you can go up there i want to be hard hear what i'm saying to have a little heaven down here before you can go up to the big one many people want to go to heaven and they don't understand that there is no way up there where we can go up there to practice and do things we're not gonna reach I have a message on youtube that says some of some of us are far from heaven when we think, think when we think we are near to heaven we are far from heaven because of the things that we are doing let's get it right people let's get it right let's get it right you all see what is going on these last days there's coming a time when they're going to fight against the children of god they don't want to see a, a bible they don't want to see i'm telling you you have some devil top um getting themselves together to come to fight against the children of god it's gonna only take the power of the lord jesus christ to bring down those devil when they enter in your midst Yes. Let's get it right. Amen. Let's get it right. Two twos America won't be like our America is. Believe me. America is free of speech, name it and one of you. But you're going to find some devil rise up to tell you that look, this this free this free of speech is over. Yes. They're gonna try to do everything to fight against the church. And it's only the strong going to survive. And it is time for us to get it together. So that we can come together in prayer. Come on, people. Amen. Amen. While you're there praying in your house, Sister Church over her house praying, Brother Banana, Brother Planting, Brother Coco, Brother Yam, everybody in their own house praying. Fire going up, bringing down every wicked plan. But we have to get it right. Amen. We have to get it right. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God, we give you thanks, praise, and glory. We honor you, Lord God Almighty, for this word today. Father, I pray, O oh God Almighty, that you will help your children in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Help everyone, Lord God Almighty, to get it right. Whatever spirit is operating, may it catch a fire right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I command the Holy Ghost, my God Almighty, to go in the midst. Holy Spirit, take over and strip everything. Strip your children as if they they're taking a bath. Strip them from head to toe as if they're, oh my God, as if they have just been born. Oh God Almighty, take off every grave clothes. Take off every filthiness. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Help, oh God Almighty, everyone to get it right. Help, Lord God Almighty, whatever spirit is operating, whether it's a sexual spirit, whether it's a stealing spirit, whether, Lord God Almighty, a spirit of intimidation, retaliation, envy, strife, backbiting, whatever spirit, Lord Jesus Christ, let it be cramped and paralyzed by the power of the Lord Jesus Christ. And help everyone, God Almighty, to do the right thing so that your name can be glorified. I am lifted up in the mighty, precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ. As we, oh God Almighty, give you the praise. As we give you the glory. As we give you the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Be thou glorified, my God Almighty. Be thou high and lifted up. For you are Lord. You are God. You are King. You are the Savior. You are the Redeemer. You are the Holy One of Israel. Be thou glorified. I am lifted up in Jesus' name. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Savior. Thank you, Redeemer. My God Almighty. Is my dear daughter there? Ready to go forth. If anyone have any testimony, whatever. My God can give the, each person a little time to speak. Not to preach, but to speak for a few minutes. And to my God Almighty, be blessed. Hallelujah. Go forth in Jesus' name. Rebe. Rebe! Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. If anyone has a testimony, if you can come forth, state your name, something that you want to testify that the Lord has done, perhaps something the woman of God had prayed about for you, something maybe between now and the last service, state your name and come forth. Bless God, Sister Camille. Yes. I bless the name of the Lord. Oh, bless God again. Bless God to everyone in there. And bless this place. I just give all glory and honor to the Lord Jesus Christ for this word. I just thank him for all that he has done. All his great miracles, signs, and wonders. And he's just blessing and he's so worthy to be praised. There's so much that I can say, but I'm going to just make it very quick. I bless the name of the Lord for God's name and glory in church. That's online. I bless the name of the Lord for Apostle and everything God allows her and shows her to do for his children through him. And I bless the name of the Lord to know that she can be so honest so that you're able to be honest. And I always struggle with that. If I didn't struggle with anything, it was always feeling. And I would feel change of sacrifice. I got, you know, caught feeling at 19 years old, got caught feeling again. I think when I was 37 years old, when I was not even supposed to go feel, taking somebody else's feel, ended up trying to feel something and uh, got myself in trouble at an older age where I shouldn't have been, you know, that scene been a part of my life anymore. No, I was, you know, God had delivered me and brought me through. And when it hit home for me, was when I thought to myself, okay, I'm not going to put it in my purse anymore. All I was just change the price. Like I'm doing something better. It was the same feeling, feeling, and feeling. And to make a long story short, the same booth that I changed the price on, the enemy allowed for my child to skip school, walk to the same store, I changed the booth price and feel and get caught. Jesus. And that's what I said to myself, Lord, when your children do things, it's not about the children, it's about what you have done when they're not even seeing that you do. And the enemy can allow them to But I said, God has to stop at me, not even at her, but at me, Father God, me to cramp, paralyze, bind, and send this amount of feeling for your back to the pit of hell. Because there's so many things I was always trying to pull on and say, okay, God, I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't, you know, try to, try to make up for the things that I'm doing. Sin and sin, God don't care. He's no respectful person. If this person feels, this person see you, we still sin. And that God can help me and help my children. Even my son got in trouble for feeling. And all I could look, look at was myself. I said, God, it's in me. So it has to be rebuked, by and crap and paralyzed, and sent back to the place by hell. It has to start with me as their mother. Because even if they don't see me doing these things, look what the enemy had my daughter to do. But God's grace and mercy, they only gave her a sack on her wrist, gave her a warning she can't go to school for a year. But it could have been worse. And even the police officer said it to her. And she's not even a child that would give me any kind of trouble. And I said, Lord, if I'm talking about anybody's children thinking that my child was so good and would do this, that, and the third, forgive me. And I just bless the name of the Lord of God being so honest and being so real. 
so that I cannot be ashamed and keep it to myself, but I've been delivered. And I'm not going to say it's easy. Every day I have people are rebuking, finding, crap and pal out of anyone we a shortcut here, a shortcut here, I say no. I got to keep on the crooked cut straight because I know that God is watching me and I want when I leave this world in the rapture because I want to live and not die and I want to declare the words of the Lord in the land of the living. But I want to stand before him to say in, in me that he's wealthy. I don't want to stay apart from workers of the next and it could be I've never known. So every day, it's not easy and I know that God is with us because we must pray because more prayer is more power and we must seek his faith every day diligently, seek his faith repent, turn, and just continue to just, just go after him, go after him, but don't let nothing or no one, nothing in your mind, let nothing in your heart, nothing in your spirit, nothing in no one does to you, stop you from serving God and living for him and him alone. And I bless the name of the Lord, and God bless you all, and thank you all for just hearing my testimony. God has delivered me, and he's going to continue to just work on me until, you know, he come back to this world. God bless you all. Amen. Amen. Lord, give it a Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank Hallelujah. You, Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you all. Thank you, Jesus. Can the next person come forth? Anyone else have a testimony they would like to share today? God bless you all. This is Brother Oatmeal. Um, yes. Yes, God bless you all. Love you all in Christ Jesus. I just thank the Lord for His mercy, for His goodness, and for His grace. And I thank the Lord because the Bible says that His mercies renew every morning. Lamentations chapter 3, verse 22, 23. His faithfulness renews every morning. I thank the Lord for the word that He gave to His daughter on the church this morning. Um, Every time I hear about Ezekiel, I always say it to myself and deep into my heart, I'm like, wow, my goodness, my God, look how you use these prophets back in the days. And you got people like Isaiah, you got people like, you know, they all had their own weaknesses, but they didn't let that, that weakness get in their way from serving God. You know, they pushed forward and pushed through until God until they see God completely deliver them. So I thank God for that word. And I'm not any different from the sister that was just speaking. You know, myself, growing up, um, I used to do the same thing. Go to the store. The funny thing is my mom would take me to the store. We'd go to the store and ask my mom for a certain thing. And if I don't get it, I would get mad, you know, or I'll just wait until she leave and i try to take it and run with it and stuff. And I'm like, wow. And my mom be like, you know, we wasn't raised that way. That's not how we were raised. Da, da, da. You shouldn't do that. And then it hit me like later on down the life. It, it took me a long time to stop. It really took me a long time to stop. But when it, when it stopped, it's like that conviction. Like, you know what? It's wrong. It's wrong, it's wrong, it's wrong, it's wrong, it's wrong. You're not gonna get anywhere doing that stuff. You know what I mean? And, oh man, that thing was everything to me, how she said it. And ever since, the, ever since, let's see, today's Sunday, Friday, when she was talking about prayer and having that prayer life, in my spirit, all I can say is, good grievous God Almighty, I want to sit under somebody like that. That's what I want to do all my life. I want to learn about prayer. I want to be... <laughs> I want to be trained up in prayer, you know, and I never feel like I have enough. I want more and more and more. So I thank God for that. You know, I thank God for the the way that she used the words and how she opened about her life. And, you know, I can relate to her in so many ways. And, oh, my gosh, I just thank God for that. And I'm just what? asking you to, to keep to keep going like that and keep seeking God the way the Lord leads her to tell you to seek God and just... Get up there with God. If God can do it with Apostle Sharon, I have faith and I believe God will do it with us. So God bless Amen. you all. Glory to God. I love you. Bye. Yeah, bless you. God bless you. I just want, I just want to, to bring one point of clarification. Now, I understand what you're saying, my brother, but when we come forth and we bring a testimony, 
you know, it's one thing to have, you know, comment and, you know, hearing the word and what God has done. But what I'm looking for, what we're referring to is, let's say, for example, the woman of God prayed for you. You had a growth. I'm just using it as an example. You had a jump or something. And the Lord used the apostle to pray for the digging out of roots 